No one who experiences a disaster is left untouched by it. A key priority during crises is to protect and provide for people's mental health and psychosocial well-being. Every individual will experience the same event in a different way and have a different capacity to cope. The nature and scale of the disaster or conflict will, of course, be huge factors, but also, for example, whether the person has pre-existing psychological conditions and vulnerabilities. Age is another crucial factor. A child's physical, emotional and social development plays a key role in their experience of an event, with adversity having a direct impact on their daily lives. Because of this, humanitarian workers need to be alert to the environment, namely who is not recovering and what specific support they need. The core principles for interventions are 1. The promotion and protection of an individual's human rights and dignity. 2. Encourage those well enough, including children and youth of an appropriate age, to participate in relief efforts. 3. Avoid potential risks such as encouraging dependency. Remember, do no harm. 4. Take advantage of available resources and the capacity for self-help. 5. Provide integrated support systems instead of standalone services. 6. Use a multi-layered support structure. This means advocating for basic services which are safe, socially appropriate and protect dignity. Activating social networks and engaging the individual's family, where possible, to provide supportive, child-friendly spaces. Providing basic support services with no specialised content for a specific target group. This requires looking out for children with basic and urgent needs, listening to a child's concerns and calming those in distress, linking children with the social support and services they require. A fourth layer includes offering access to specialised clinical support from mental health practitioners where needed. In the immediate aftermath of a disaster, it is also important to address social considerations, such as providing simple, sensitive, reliable information, supporting family tracing and reunification, involving communities in the design and re-establishment of religious, social and community facilities, allowing time for culturally appropriate ceremonies and funerals, providing appropriate activities for children, resuming education and engaging communities. You can also make an immediate difference in the facilitation of psychosocial provisions. For example, ensuring that children and adults with serious mental health conditions are referred to the appropriate services, working with the existing healthcare system and assisting with the provision of drugs and treatments supporting those with emotional stress through listening and compassion, and providing training and promoting non-intrusive community-based emotional support. As you see, there is a lot you can offer. So let's work together to help those in need of psychosocial support, encourage the correct treatment, and make sure that your response is always relevant to the individual you're helping. For more information, visit